the entire discussion of whether Nvidia is making shittier GPUs or is it AMD who is a dumb GPU manufacturer has reached to the point where I feel like it has no end and day after day we keep hearing about upcoming GPUs that no longer create any hype and this is why we are here where despite having a lot of good GPUs in the stock, gamers are no longer interested in buying them and this is somewhat killing the entire PC gaming market. If you look at my recent videos, you will see that in almost every GPU related video, I mostly talk negatively about AMD and Nvidia except for Intel which even though isn't leading in the GPU market, at this point deserve more credit for the efforts they have been doing in the past few months. Today once again we are hearing about another GPU from AMD which we were hearing about lately but it was not until now that it made an official appearance. It was PowerColor which leaked the RX 7800 XT mistakenly and not only do we have its specs that show us how does it look like but also its official specifications that also include the die AMD is going to use on it. This one is the RX 7800 XT Red Devil Edition that features a 3 fan cooler with two 8 pin power connectors. As per the deleted info, the card is equipped with 8 heat pipes and a PCB with a total of 18 power phases. As for the specs, it is going to come with Navi 32 die which was pretty much expected at this point and features 60 compute units. There are a total of 3840 stream processors and clock speeds of up to 2565 MHz on this particular edition. For memory, it comes with 16GB of GDDR6 memory on a 256-bit bus and this is how its PCB looks like. We can see that it is pretty much identical to the GPU die we saw in the Forbes video and has a single GCD surrounded by 4 MCDs. Compared to the previous generation card the RX 6800 XT, it is definitely a downgrade and I won't be surprised if it will either tie or lose to the latter in performance. The 6800 XT comes with a higher end Navi 21 die, 20% more compute units and 20% more stream processors. If you remember the RX 7900 GRE launch by AMD's own results, the 7900 was just 13% faster than the 6800 XT at 2K and just 8% faster at 4K resolution. If that is the case with the higher end RX 7900 GPU that comes with significantly more stream processors, then you can just imagine where the RX 7800 XT will stand. I don't think it is going to outperform the 6800 XT by any means except for a few cases and this makes it as bad as the RTX 4060 Ti to the 3060 Ti. Now if you're thinking that AMD might make a comeback with the next generation, then it's most likely not going to be the case. Recently Kepler tweeted that the Navi 4 lineup will not have any high-end GPUs. I don't know the accuracy of this leak but Kepler has been pretty much accurate most of the time and he said that he has heard it from as many as three sources. Not only Kepler but Red Gaming Tech has also reported such news but as per AMD's own statement it has promised to deliver higher performance with the advanced node on the RDNA 4. So we don't know how AMD is going to achieve this but till we can have some solid leaks about the next 10 GPUs, I don't trust AMD just as I don't trust Nvidia when it talks about providing faster GPUs. GPUs. Surely Nvidia has delivered pretty fast GPUs in the higher end spectrum of the ADA family but reports are telling that it is trying to create GPU shortage in order to keep up the price high. MLID says that the RTX 4080 and 4090 aren't selling well compared to the previous generations but despite that there is still demand from the consumers. So what does this actually mean and why there is a shortage of these higher end cards? Apparently Nvidia has limited the number of GPUs it wants to send to the retailers every week and so this is entirely Nvidia's decision to create an artificial shortage shortage just to keep up the prices high. So once again when Nvidia saw its GPUs are not selling well, it came up with a solution on how to profit despite the market trend. Moreover, it is now saying that they are not able to fulfill the demands of the customers as the packaging is causing the supply issue. Well, even though it is more about the professional GPUs, it could still affect the gaming cards as we recently saw that some companies are ready to buy even gaming GPUs for their AI operations. Nvidia says that when people use the word GPU shortage, they are really talking about a shortage of some component on the board and not the GPU itself. Apparently this is happening not because there is a shortage of silicon but because of how the GPU packages are manufactured which require high precision multi-step operations that slow down the GPU manufacturing. Let's hope that the booming AI trend does not consume all the gaming graphics cards just as mining did a few years ago. I do not know exactly how it can affect the supply of GPUs but the already poor GPU market is not favorable towards gamers and if the supply becomes the issue once again it can have significantly adverse effects on PC gaming. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below and also if you think that it's worth building a gaming PC right now. Lastly hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe for more videos like this. Make sure to turn on the notifications to never miss such updates in the future and I will see you in the next one.